Welcome back to our final nest of the first semester. I'm your host, Kayla Trong. This week marks our fifth anniversary of the nest and is our 110th episode overall. In this episode, we bite into Cardinal Kitchen, tell you how to get money from SBAC testing, and safety tips when walking home. But first, did you know that a mayoral debate was held here at Hoover and had Hoover students and community members questioning the candidates? Jalen tells us more about that event. Last Thursday, January 16th, 2020, SJA students, along with Youth Will, an organization made to enhance youth success, came together to organize a mayoral forum here in Hoover High School, where candidates Rich Real, Barbara Bry, Tasha Williamson, and Todd Gloria got a chance to answer questions made by students regarding conflicts in our community, such as homelessness, housing, transportation, education, and infrastructure. Throughout the event, we discovered that Todd Gloria had been working on a constitutional state amendment allowing our youth to start voting at age 16. We hope this debate allows all candidates to take action against all the students' concerns and that the students have gained knowledge and an interest regarding the future of our community. So I was the coordinator of this event, um, so I just organized everything and set everyone with their jobs and then uh, I also outreached for organizations and people to come to the event. I feel like it was important for me because it gave me the chance to try something new and to get the experience of working on something that is really serious. My role throughout this internship was in advocacy group, so we were the ones uh, making the questions for the, these candidates. This is very important to me because I feel that youth needs to have a voice in our community and make it a better place so that um, these candidates realize that we live in it day by day and uh, we'll see what they do to help that. This is the first time in SD County where youth has organized such an amazing event. Four mayor candidates came to this big gym right behind me and left with an amazing impression of our Hoover community. Our community came together and talked what needed to be talked about. Our SJ Cardinals did an amazing work. They did a phenomenal job. I'm very proud of them. They organized the whole event um, and they uh, created the questions and they were very, uh, they owned it. They uh, uh, care about our community. They care about Hoover and I think they were amazing. Not only um, do I hope that they learn how to organize, but I hope that they start to feel empowered and they um, look at problems and issues in our community and now they know who to go to to get those problems solved. Okay Cardinals, we're here with the special guest, Mr. Babineau, the one and only. Mr. Babineau, how do you feel about, about Hoover High doing this event tonight? I'm so incredibly proud. Our students just just wowed everybody in, the, in attendance. Um, I think that what's great about this event is that we know that Hoover Cardinals are special, but events like this prove it to the world. So can't say enough about our students. You guys are incredibly amazing. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep it rolling. Who ride? We as students of Hoover continue to lead and influence changes that can benefit all of San Diego. Next up, ROTC had its first ever award ceremony. ROTC cadets were given promotions, awards, or special recognitions for their efforts. Angelus gives us more details. On January 9th, ROTC hosted their very first award ceremony for their hardworking cadets. What is the ceremony about? Uh, this is our first inaugural um, awards banquet. So tonight is a chance for the parents to come see all the success and hard work that their students have achieved thus far in ROTC. Why is this ceremony being held? Um, we want to make the parents part of the students, uh, see their awards. We want them to see the achievements and kind of see everything come together. As the semester comes to a close, the kids worked really, really hard and uh, we just wanted to recognize them and we want the parents to be here and just to be part of it. The award I got was Cadet of the Semester, which is a medal right here, as you can see to my left. The award basically means that I showed a lot of enthusiasm towards the program of ROTC, and I basically participated in a lot of things so far, and I can't wait until the second semester brings more. I feel very proud of myself. Um, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of half and half because I'm that type of person, when I set my mind on a goal, I intend to achieve it. And that's what ROTC has really helped me. What is the award? I got the SAI award. I received it from the senior army instructor, which is Roy Campbell. How did you earn the award? 
I believe I earned this award by my dedication and motivation to continue in this program through all, all four years of high school. How do you feel about getting this award? I feel extremely motivated and extremely um, important in the program because it's, uh, it's the first time they do this award ceremony and it is my senior year and it's a very accomplishing moment for me. All ROTC cadets should be recognized for their efforts. Do you walk home from school? With it becoming dark fast, some students have to walk home at night. Here are some tips to help you get home safe. Last week, I interviewed Hoover staff and asked if they could provide us with any tips on how to keep our cardinal safe walking home. First, walk in a group. When you're with people, you tend to be a lot safer than if you're alone. Um, second, stay on well-populated streets. Um, the main streets are much safer than alleyways. Third, you know, at night especially, stay in well-lit areas. Because again, if you're not able to be seen, somebody might see you. Hi, I'm Miss Carrillo, Vice Principal at Hoover High School. Please be aware of your surroundings. Look around. Notice anything that doesn't seem right, that might seem off. Uh, people that may be following too close. Just if something doesn't feel right, trust your intuition. Um, and it's important to to be aware of what's happening around you. And in order to do that, we can't have our faces in the cell phone. I know that's hard to do. If you ever don't feel safe, trust your intuition. Um, call someone to pick you up if that's possible. Ask for a ride. And if you do get a ride, let your, your family know I'm going to be home earlier or I'm getting a ride. Um, but always trust your gut. Uh, please let us know as well. Inform the school if something unusual took place after school around campus so that we can inform our school police and we can make sure that our areas are monitored and that they're patrolled frequently for your safety. Hello, my name is William Corrado. I'm a campus officer here at Hoover High School. Do you believe phones impact our ability to stay safe? I'm glad you asked that question. Well, you know what? I, I do believe it does. Uh, you know, in the last couple of years, I've seen more and more uh, young people walking with their phones in hand, texting, and there have been, uh, unfortunately, several accidents where young people have lost their lives. And I just, of course, it's not just teenagers, adults as well, but it's just another reminder that when you're out there walking, uh, there's a lot of things going on in your surrounding. It's always important for you to be alert. So my recommendation would be to put your phones away and uh, wait till you get home or you're in a safe place to either you know check your Instagram, whatever social medias you're going to be looking at, but uh, safety is, is uh, paramount. So just be aware of that and um, you know be alert, stay safe. We want all students to be aware of their surroundings and get home safely. Have you heard of the SBAC? Well, the SBAC rewards juniors with Hoover Bucks for doing well on a test that challenges students both in math and English. Wayne tells us why the SBAC is so important. The SBAC is a test we take every year here at Hoover. By doing well your junior year, you can earn up to $80 in Hoover Bucks. You can use it towards Hoover merch, yearbook, and even prom. So it should encourage you guys to uh, want to try hard on the test. Hello, Hoover students. If you ever wonder what the purpose of this test right here is, the SBAC, Mr. Babineau and Ms. Lauder are going to tell you more information about it. How should students prepare for the SBAC test? So the SBAC is extremely important for a variety of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, I think the way to prepare is just to, to do the right thing in all of our classes starting freshman year. I know that's something that we take as 11th graders. However, it's something that you need to prepare each and every year, every single day, every single week, so we're ready for that test when we take it. Um, there's a variety of reasons why we should do well on that test. Uh, I would say, first and foremost, it's, it's data that the whole world sees. So when people look up Hoover High School, they're going to see how well we did on this test. So it really tells a story about us as students um, and as a Hoover community. Um, there's a, a, other reasons to take the test. You can earn some Hoover bucks. Students can earn up to 80 Hoover bucks uh, based on how well they do on the test. So um, students can use it for whatever they want. Merch, homecoming, yearbook, whatever it may be. Um, last uh, students, we get the scores in the summer and then when students are seniors, they get the Hoover bucks. So make that money. Who ride? 
I think it's extremely beneficial because it will show colleges and universities that they have the potential to go to college and it will show them if they're ready to go to college. So for example, one of the incentives here at Hoover High School that Mr. Babineau has done, um, he has Hoover Bucks. And so we are so fortunate uh, to have our students not just be able to earn 20, 40, 60, but up to $80 in Hoover Bucks that they can use for merchandise. Um, or they can go to the prom, they can use it to pay for their yearbook. Um, this is something that they don't just take the test and um, there's nothing to show for it. They can actually get a financial incentive via Hoover Bucks um, to help uh, parents pay for all these expensive things during senior year. So students beginning in ninth grade begin preparing for this, making sure they come to school, making sure they're doing their homework. If they're stuck in math or English going to tutoring. So it's very important 9th, 10th, and 11th grade that they prepare for this test and 11th graders they will be taking the test this year sometime in April. Um, and also as a reminder we were going to be having a coffee with the principal this year on uh, I believe it's January the 31st, it's a Friday at 9 30 a.m. in the mini theater where we're going to be talking about uh, how this incentive program works so that parents understand how they can support their students students in making sure that they are college ready. So my name is Diego and I got $80 for doing well on my SPEC. So far I bought two homecoming tickets and a shirt. If you do well on your SPEC, you can buy whatever you want from the ASB store. Hello, my name is Abril and I was able to get $40 because of the SPEC and I was able to buy this hoodie and part of the yearbook. What will you do when you earn your Hoover Bucks Cardinals? Next up, multitasking can be difficult for some, but for student athletes, is it an everyday occurrence? Leo gives us a scoop. Hey Cardinals, have you ever wondered if students who play sports actually focus more on school than those who don't? There's a large portion of student athletes who in our school, many of whom continue to succeed academically. How has playing sports helped you focus in class? Um, playing sports, it demands that I require a 2.0 or above, and because I'm an overachiever, I have to go for that 4.0. I only go for the best. How do you motivate players and student athletes to do good in class? I think to motivate uh, student players in class, especially if it's during the season, if they're not going to class, obviously the biggest uh, motivation is to have them play. Like, you know, it's like f for f with football, for instance, uh, you know, all the player, all football players want to play on Friday night. What are some consequences that will happen if a student starts slipping or has bad grades? Um, obviously, one big consequence could be they could be academically ineligible to play, uh, and that could be per CIF. Um, do you believe that students perform better academically if they're in sports? Yes, I do. I think that our athletes perform incredibly at higher rates in the classroom um, because they're more focused and uh, sports helps motivate some of our athletes because uh, you have to keep a 2.0 to be able to play in games. What do you believe that students take from their sport into the class? They take leadership that they learn uh, with their teammates. They um, are better communicators. Uh, like I said earlier, they're more focused um, and they're just hard. They hard work hard. All right. Um, do you believe that sports help student athletes focus in class? I do believe it does. I think that there's a level of time management that student athletes are tasked of having to appropriately manage. And I think that student athletes really have to focus in on class knowing that there's going to be less time after school to get done what they need to get done. What do you believe that student athletes take from their sport into the class? I think team. Um, it's more about the individual. Um, I think that appropriately learning how to work together um, and then bringing that into the classroom and being able to excel in the classroom because again it's more than self is something that is very powerful in the classroom. Do you believe that um, sports can also be a distraction in class? I think it can be a distraction if and only if there isn't a culture of excellence on the field and um, if that's not brought into the classroom um, and students don't hold each other accountable then perhaps it could be a distraction. What's up, it's Franklin, and today we spoke with the group leader and the group member of what is the helping hand and what kind of benefits students receive. Let's go. What does your club have to offer? Um, the Helping Hand offers college guidance and exploration, mentorship and tutoring, community service opportunities, and leadership skills. Does this club prepare you for college? Yes, I do think so. Um, like I said, it creates a productive environment. Uh, there's a lot of like seniors who've already applied for the 
uh, major colleges in California. So it'll help those like mainly upperclassmen um, kind of see what it's like. How are you benefiting in this program? Uh, well, for starters, I am the vice president of this club, and I really get the support and knowledge that I need for college apps since I'm currently applying for college and getting prepared for that new chapter in life. What is it like to be in this group? Uh, it's very empowering and it feels very welcoming to be uh, in a group with these leaders. It just helps me a lot just feel more comfortable and prepare myself for college. Today we are going to be making scalloped potatoes. Ingredients needed are 1 tablespoon butter, 2 cloves garlic, 1 tablespoon flour, 1 cup milk, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 half teaspoon pepper, 3 potatoes peeled, 2 tablespoons grated parmesan cheese, fresh parsley chopped for garnish. First you want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, in a small pot, melt the butter and fry the garlic until it turns brown. Then add the flour, salt, and pepper. Whisk until there are no lumps. Next, you want to slowly drizzle in the milk while constantly whisking to make sure the mixture is smooth. Bring to a boil, then remove from heat. Then slice the potatoes into 1 8 inch thick slices, then fan them out in a small baking dish. Next, pour the sauce on top of the potatoes, then sprinkle with parmesan. Finally, bake for one hour until the top is bubbly and golden brown. Sprinkle chopped parsley on top, then serve. Enjoy! My name is Alyssa Chavez and on this week's Cardinal Spotlight, we have Janae Harnage. <laughs> Janae Harnage is a senior with many skills. She has been accepted to San Francisco State and is looking forward to majoring in biology of science. When she's not maintaining her 3.9 GPA, she is busy playing multiple sports. The sports she plays are basketball, volleyball, and lacrosse. In addition, she's also very involved in her community in programs such as Aaron Price and Young Life. Hooray! Today's Red Couch. Today we are joined by Stacy from Cardinals Interact. Can you please share who Cardinals Interact is and what brings you to the Red Couch today? Yeah, of course. So Cardinals Interact is a three year long program. Um, and so today I'm very lucky to be here and talking to you um, because I wanted to give the opportunity um, to all of the students to hear about the new class that we're recruiting. So we're recruiting class of 2023. We're looking for 50 new students, um, freshmen, and we're hoping that they are positive minded um, because we have a lot of opportunities for them to take on while they're at Hoover. Um, so yeah, we're an all encompassing uh, program and so that means that we don't only focus on college readiness, um, college support, career exposure, um, but we also do community service and we have a lot of fun while we're doing all of those things. So, What makes Cardinals Interact different than other programs? Oh, I love that question. So Cardinals Interact is different than other programs. Mainly the biggest difference is the fact that we're not um, an organization that's here at Hoover. We have another location in City Heights. Um, and so it's really wonderful because not only do we have a beautiful view of City Heights, but it's a place that I feel the students are really proud of. Sometimes they'll invite other students and they're like just wanting to show off the office, you know? So it's really great because it gives students another place within City Heights where they feel safe and comfortable and, and they feel like they can have fun with other friends or study together um, outside of Hoover. What successes have alumni of Cardinals Interact accomplished? Oh, okay, awesome. So. Uh, one of the biggest things is probably that we have over 400 alums. Um, yeah, so we are only based out of Hoover High School, and so we've been here since 2002. Um, so that means that there's a lot of different generations of Cardinals that are ready, you know, to give back to City Heights, and some of which are you probably already know um, because they already have leadership roles in other programs, um, and so that's wonderful. But on top of that. Um, since we are college readiness, um, over 
90% of our students attend college or university. And what's even better than that is that 80% of those students actually end up continuing on through that process. Um, so since we have been here since 2002, that means that over 100 of our alums already have a degree in different fields. Um, and that means that we have a bunch of different alums at different universities or colleges, not only within California, but also in other states of the US. So that's really, I think, something that stands out from different programs as well. Thank you for joining us today. And now it's time to hear from some Cardinal Interact students. We are now joined by Alexandra and Donathan. How has this program enhanced your high school experience so far? It's help, it has helped me grow as a better person and meet new people and build better friendships. How do you balance Cardinal's Interact with other commitments? I would say time management is like a big one for me because you need to know what to prioritize more or first. Um, communication as well because if you have something to do in one program, you need to advise the other program if, to let them know that you have something to do. What are some of your Cardinal Interact highlights you would like to share? Um, some of my Cardinal Interact highlights I would like to share would be when we attend um, camp during the summer because it's a great time to spend with your family and you really get to know your classmates overall. Why should Hoover Freshmen consider applying? Hoover Freshmen should consider applying because it's a great program. Because when I was a freshman, I didn't really want to join Carlos and Rec. And then family told me, oh, well, cousins told me, oh, join it. It's a, it's a life changing experience. You do great things. And I'm really glad I did because it's a big family and I really love all of them in there. Thank you for joining us and sharing your experience in Cardinals Interact. Freshmen, remember, if you would like to apply, applications are available in the counseling office and are due by March 6th. Thank you for joining us on today's Red Couch. Hello everyone, welcome to Hungry Bird. Today we introduce you to Buku Sushi. Located on 3027 Adams Avenue in Normal Heights, below an apartment boat. Formerly owned and discovered by Bob Pacella, who started as creating sushi for a social experiment and was self-taught. Though later found a passion for opening a restaurant. The place is modern with the feel of Japanese and American culture. The food is a mix of seafood with amazing creative creations. They have about four menus of sushi rolls, such as bacon and meat, classics, clever creations, and healthy rolls. We enjoyed having when pigs fry rolls. It has bacon, spicy tuna, temperature battered and fried, topped with toasted sesame seeds. We tried more food there, but those were our favorites. If you love sushi, go on down to Sabuku Sushi. That's it for this week's Nest, but before I take off, there are a couple of reminders that I wish to share with you. The deadline for athletic clearances and physicals are February 8th and 15th. Clearances can be turned in to Trainer Chris in the training room at lunch or after school. Today, there is a senior meeting at lunch in the big gym to discuss senior activities. And lastly, there is a baseball meeting at lunch at the baseball field with Coach Schumann. It was amazing to bring Hoover news to you this semester. My name is Kayla Trong. Remember Cardinals, Wednesdays are awesome! <laughs>